Hello, welcome back to another video. So I'm starting this video off the night before everything is happening. Um, if I do sound lispy, I do have my retainers in, so it's fine. It is the night before my foot surgery. I'll explain more about what the foot surgery is about tomorrow. Um, but that gets, I have surgery tomorrow at 12.45. I thought I would just blend, bring you guys along for the ride. I have a shower, used my antibacterial soap that they needed me to use. I can't put lotion on, I can't put deodorant on, I can't spray perfume. So it's gonna be all natural. But I also have to shower in the morning as well and use that same soap again. Why, I don't know. I'm very dry, very, yeah, I was like, I can't use anything, so my skin's very dry, does not like me right now. I use lotion every day because we live in Colorado. It's dry. But I'm going to head to bed. I have to get up at 8.40 tomorrow because um, we have to check in by 11.15. I have to stop eating by 1.15. That won't be a problem because I'll be sound asleep. Um, but I have to stop drinking any liquids by 9.15. So I want to get some water in my system before the surgery begins. So. Once I wake up, I will get to filming the whole process tomorrow, so I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is surgery day. Um, I'm glad I woke up earlier than my alarm because my mom just walked into my room and she was like, hey, they're moving ahead of schedule. They want you here by this time. So now we have to leave a lot earlier and be there literally like an hour earlier um, than we were, so. Um, I have to get in the shower. I have to stop drinking now, so that sucks. So I get in the shower. Um, the hair's staying like this because his hair is going to stay for like the next two days. Um, so I don't have to do my hair. And yeah. And now I'm getting a little more nervous. But I shouldn't be nervous because I've done it before. I will explain more why I'm getting surgery after I shower and everything. Just finished taking my last surgery shower. Literally, I hate doing those showers before surgery because literally I feel disgusting right now. My skin is so dry, it's asking for lotion. I can't put deodorant on and I hate smelling bad in front of people. You know, I just, I just can't win here. Um, but anyways, the doctor did call, like I said earlier. He's running ahead of schedule, so he wants us there an hour early, which is like a, not a bad thing. Get this over and done with earlier. We will leave here at 9.45. It is 8.34. So that is what time it is. Um, so yeah, we're leaving like an hour. Um, we may take the dogs on a little walk because um, the little puppy needs to go in the crate because my dad is at a golfing tournament. Um, so he won't be home, so no one's gonna be home to watch the dogs. Um, so we might take him for the walks, get them a little tired so that um, she doesn't go crazy in her crate because I don't know if my mom will be able to make it back here in time to, um, like check on them before my surgery is over. So now I'm gonna to explain to you why I am getting surgery. So I also got the same exact surgery back done back in 2019 on my foot. Um, I got lucky enough and got my mother's genetics and I got her feet. She had the same issue, she has the same issue I do. Um, so essentially I have what's called, and this is gonna sound old lady-ish, it, it happens. Essentially, I have, what I have is called the Taylor Bunion. So essentially, there's a bunion on the outside of my feet, not the inside, which is a lot better because if I had the bunion on the inside of my foot near my big toe, that surgery is a lot harder because um, they have to actually break your uh, break your big toe and then do the surgery. But with this one, they just have to open me up um, and get rid of that extra bone on the side right there. So I will show you what the after looks like and then what the before looks like and then we can see what happens after the surgery. Basically you can see this little bump right here. That is where my bunion is. This one was a lot bigger back in 2019 so they shaved it down and they opened it up. You can see the scar is still there. So that's exactly what they're going to do on my foot right now. So this one is actually a lot better than it was. Still has a little bit of a bump there but he can't get too close to the joint or it's going to mess up my feet forever. So he can only shave down as much as he can. Um, but yeah, there, there's that foot. And then, and then here's the foot that's getting operated on today. So you can see this little, this bone is out this way and it's actually pushing my toes this way. 
So um, we need to get this done as soon as possible so that this stops happening. Um, so yeah, this foot is getting rid of this little bump right here. And the reason for the surgery is because when I wear certain kinds of shoes, my foot hurts and I have to take them off or my foot goes numb. And that's not a good thing. So we're gonna hopefully get rid of that problem. My foot essentially won't heal for like a whole other year. It took um, my other foot to heal quite a bit. Um, I will be in a boot and off the weight for like a week and a half, so it's not bad. Um, and then I will be able to walk, but in a boot. Um, but because I have work, I'm gonna get one of those scooters and not some crutches. Crutches are terrible, I hate them. So that's what we're gonna do. But we're gonna leave here in about an hour um, and maybe take the dogs for a walk first. Um, and we'll be on our way and getting the surgery started. So we did end up taking the dogs for a walk. As you can tell, Linda is upstairs blow drying her hair um, because we're leaving here in 20-ish minutes. I feel like the time's going really slow because we're just like sitting and waiting. I can't eat, I can't do nothing. So, just patiently waiting. Um, but yeah, we're getting the dog. The dogs are all tired, so they should be good to go in a crate and just to sleep while we are gone. Um, the surgery is very short. It shouldn't take a whole, like it shouldn't be long. Because last time I got surgery done, my mom was like, hey, you were literally in and out in 45 minutes. But then again, it takes me a while um, to get out of anesthesia, I guess. I don't know, I don't know. But that, that's like the part I'm most scared about is not feeling well after the surgery because I get motion sickness and sometimes anesthesia makes me dizzy and so that doesn't help. Yeah, I'm not very nervous because I've had it done before. I'm only nervous for the post-operation. But we'll see what happens. We have made it to the doctor. It's not a hospital, so it's just to the outpatient um, surgery. But we're headed in, we have to wear masks obviously because it's a hospital considered a doctor's office, so doing that. I'm gonna check in and then we'll see what they need me to do. I'm gonna kind of be quiet, but here we are in uh, my little bed. I gotta get changed into those right now. I have to take everything off. Um, they provide me with socks and underwear, so it's getting real. We are hooked up everywhere and we are getting ready to go here pretty soon so uh, my mom's coming back right now and then they're gonna get started on the surgery so uh, I'll maybe see you after the surgery is done and then maybe at home but we'll see I don't know what else I will record but I will try and keep you guys updated as much as I can After surgery I think the last clip you guys saw me um, was just me laying on the couch and relaxing that's really all I could film yesterday because I was very tired and have a lot of side effects from the anesthesia so um, I literally just laid on the couch all night um, so there was nothing interesting to show you um, there probably won't be anything interesting to show you either but the nerve block is now gone so I can still feel a little bit of pain um, other than that everything's fine I've done this before it's nothing new to me um, I have a little scooter now that I can get around with around the house, uh, as well as get around, get that, well, I can't speak, as well as that can get me around at work. I know I look like a little bit of a mess. I'm not trying to do, I have to go to work, back to work tomorrow, so I'm trying to keep these braids in so that I don't have to do my hair in the morning because my mom has to drive me to work because I cannot drive for six weeks. I'm about to attempt to go take a shower. Um, I do have my little um, sleeve thing that goes over my foot so it doesn't get wet. Um, I'm supposed to have a post-op appointment 10 to 14 days later because I do have internal and external stitches. Um, so there's two in and then there's two out, so that's when I'll get them out. Other than that, it feels great. Um, here's, the, there was a, a big medical shoe on top of my soft wrap, so 
um, but I'm in the house, I just kind of get around with that soft wrap and I um, just hop around on my one leg. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun, but gotta do what you gotta do. I, um, I can't put weight on it. I can put weight on my heel of that same foot, but other than that, it is non-weight bearing. So um, I'll be on the scooter for about two weeks, depending on what my post-op appointment is. Uh, but yeah, I would show you the the cut and everything, but I'm not gonna do that quite yet. Um, you'll probably get another vlog with that in there. But here's what the soft cast looks like. So this is what I'm left with. I like the color of my toes because they're all swollen and filled with iodine because that's how they disinfect it. And then there's my normal foot. So they, yeah, look at this. The size of my toes, crazy. I thought I would just give y'all an update on how everything's going um, and took you guys to the surgery with me. I think the surgery took about 45 minutes and then it took me a while to wake up from the anesthesia because let me tell you that was like the best sleep I've gotten in a while. So um, I slept fine. I've been icing. I've been elevating my foot trying to keep the swelling down. There's not a whole lot else that I'm doing today besides laying down and doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> I may answer a few work emails if, that, if I can get onto my work email. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give a big thumbs up, push the big red subscribe button down below, and click on the bell to turn on post notifications so you don't miss a Thursday video. And I will see you guys next Thursday. This is...